I'm a repeat offender to myself. I get high, I get low, there's nothing else. You must be an angel watching over me. Hey, we are here with a surprise guest. Thank the Lord. Reverend Rhythm showed up. I guess divine intervention somehow brought you over here today. See that? Actually, I think what it brought me here is um, your great talent and someone who recommended this show. That's exactly what brought me here. I uh, know a gentleman who does shows in this venue, Frank Wood. Yes, we know Frank. And um, a totally fun guy who knows about uh, this type of music promotion and what we're all up against in trying to get somebody to find the value in the artists that this lady is promoting so wonderfully. I love what you're doing. Oh, thank you. I love what you're doing. Seriously, don't get caught in this very easily. And it's not the kind of thing where you can sit around and wait and enjoy yourself while you wait for your turn. These things often can be. But this show has been wonderful. You even got the people out here They're singing. They're the best, yes. Apparently, it's one. You on top of the thing. I'm loving what you're doing. It's exactly what the world needs. Is somebody taking an effort. Oh, you're so kind. No, well, I mean, we've always been doing this kind because you're here every week. Yes, we are. Giving people an opportunity. Guess what? That's a job. We're yeah. artists. Thank we you. hate jobs. Thank we you. don't want to show up to jobs. I want to do what I want to do now. Right? I yeah, there you go. That's exactly what. The best thing about being an artist and a musician is we go, yeah, our future. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not used to this part. That's okay. The, our future. But you're so dapper. Do you always dress like this? You have to. you got to take every edge you can. It makes me feel good. It keeps me from eating the this chocolate. This is, like, so beautiful. I like Where, Really? Yeah, yeah. How, when? Where? Do, uh, you, do you give them well, away? To make, to make a living, I'm a wiring engineer. I wire television studios. I wire... Um, really? Yeah, I wire uh, recording studios. And So are you an electrician? No, I'm a... Integration engineer. Electricians can't do what I do. In fact, integration engineer. Yes. Where'd you go to school for that? Um, I actually learned much on my own. Physics in high school. Um, an electron electronic set when I was a little So do you kid. like Jimmy Neutron? Um, you know, I don't know Jimmy Neutron. That's okay. That's okay. Um, he, I, it's a cartoon, though. It right? is. Yeah, no, I don't. I'm, right. I'm a... I don't really know him either. I'm, I'm, I'm 75 years old, so I like... No, oh, you're not. Well, when you say you're old, everybody's like, whoa, you look great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. No, yeah. you're not 75. But, yeah, my mother used to do that. She would say she's, like, really old, so people would say, oh, you look great. And she does look great, and she's still, like, ridiculously... Youthful looking. She's like, no, I'm old. I feel old. Well, that's where you get it from, right? What? My, my... Your youthful look. Oh, thanks. Yeah, because I'm 60. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I guess so. It's in the jeans, right? I guess. Where were you born? I'm living in the apartment I was born in. Oh, my God. Exactly. Wow. I'm one of the last people that are allowed to have the so free So you time. have cheap rent. Well, it's cheaper than most. My pain is the landlord is the most evil. Oh, he doesn't want mind. you there. Well, well, of well course. the reason he doesn't want me there is because I actually am not afraid of him like everybody else in the building. Well, right. because you get it. Right. Well, not only do I get it, but the importance of who and what I am needs not needs to be understood. This neighborhood used to be full of everybody doing this and trying to do yes. it regularly. You can't. You can't. I. I if I didn't have the cheap apartment, I'd have to be having a job in the subway. Or two or yeah, three jobs in the subway. But you have this right. fancy engineer skill. Yeah, but you know what? I was unemployed for quite a long time and, and in fact, was low enough in my income to get on the health care that, that is available to people. Because um, after the digital um, changeover, yes, um, right. everybody brought everybody's friend in to be a wirer or an ah. integration engineer. The, um, and because I'm freelance, integration engineer. They, um, uh, yeah, if anybody needs one, you can go to chazwire.com. C H A S W I R E. Although I don't want to do that. I'd rather you went to reverendrhythm.com and listen to my music. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, there you of course, go. of course. But so, the, the uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. The, the, um, the sad thing is, this city, I, I didn't have to struggle to meet artists in this neighborhood. Then you had to go to Williamsburg to meet them. Mm. Now, I don't know where the hell you got to go in New York City. Autos. Yeah, mm. but you know what? There's well, there's Gravesend. What's yeah. that? There's Gravesend. 
You know, we just, what did we lose here? We lost Lakeside Lounge oh, on Avenue B. Oh, everywhere's closing, yeah, We yeah. lost, uh, what was the other, Banjo Gyms on Avenue C. Yeah. Man, Dan Lynch's used to be the slam in this place to play music back in the day. I saw everybody in there come late in. I saw Stevie Ray Vaughan come in there. Oh, my like, God. Yeah, that's right. It's what I said. I couldn't believe it. I just was, and I was lucky that I had friends who knew that I could play music and love the music, and they worked in the bar, and they called me up, and I went in there. When did you start playing? There's a place um, like that. Like, where is it? You have to go to... It's in, it's Duff's Brooklyn because I, I bumped into Jimmy Fallon who happens to be a metalhead. And that's Williams, wow. isn't it? Okay. Jimmy Fallon's a million. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the best one. Right. <laughs> so when did you start playing? I started playing. I had a fight for my parents to let me get a guitar at eight years old. They finally got me one, and um, I haven't looked back since. It's um, I can't wait to be a 125 year old. Guitarist playing a concert on the moon because I don't know what I'm going to call Oh, you and Lady Gaga. Well, did she say that? She's going out in space to play. She's, well, no, I want to go the right way. I don't want to go. She's on the Virgin. She's rocket. piggybacking off uh, Richard Branson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm figuring they're not going to get it right for at least 60 years. I want to go in comfort like an ocean liner and everything. I don't want to be jammed into a little capsule. So With all make... the celebrities. Well, no, I, you know. And that might be a problem, too. Well, you'll be a celebrity sure. yourself by then. You know what? Yeah. By, by the time you reach your 100th birthday. I'm not so sure uh, if I can handle it yet. I think I might get close, but I know there's still, there's still skeletons. See- many skeletons in my closet. Oh, could we get to- one? Because nobody's eating my poultry. But, you know, I'm, I, 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 like- can give you, I can give you tons of skeletons. I just I'm want not gonna, one. I'm just not going to eat the... What about the okay. caramel and chocolate? I, you know, I will eat. I will eat. I'll eat we'll eat one piece. Um, Good. Uh, now the question I, is, I thought I wouldn't have I'm enough. gonna let you choose the skeleton that I tell you. Though I have two. Okay. I, what is it like? Door one or door well, two? Well, kind of. Like there's, there's, one, there's one. They're both from my youth. Uh, one involves a fishing story where I thought Who's I was getting point? something for free, but I actually was stealing. And there's another one where it involves a tiger and urination. Do that. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How can you pass up the tiger Please and urination? Please tell me you didn't piss on the tiger. But anyway, can you know continue? what? I, I don't know your name, sir. What's your name? Too Tall. Too Tall. I like your style. We don't treat animals right on this planet. And this is part of the story, too. When I was 13 years old, I got a job working for the All-American Circus out in Newark, New Jersey. Wow, was the yeah, location. And this circus was held at an ice skating rink. Now, I was a, I, I wasn't a big kid, but I was an Italian kid from the east side who had a little bit of balls, I guess. And they put me at the back door where they put all that all the acts come into the to the rink. And what happens is I'm standing there, and there's this young lady who I want to talk to. So I'm leaning on the gate that's been closed. And I'm talking to this young lady. She's right there. The gate's right next to me. And I'm leaning on it. You know, it's the, the rink wall that's around the ice skating rink. And it's the doors that would allow, like, the Zamboni to drive in. And they just moved the tigers in. I'm leaning on this thing. And I'm talking to this girl. How you doing? You're cute. Yeah, I should have some. I'm 13 years old, so it's more like, I'm going to have a blah, blah, blah. But I'm still okay. trying. All of a sudden, my arm gets wet. I look up. And I'm like, why? What's going on? I look down. I'm going to keep talking to the girl. And it happens again. And then finally I turn around to see urine coming from the back of the tiger, pushing at me, and the tiger, I swear, is looking at me and smiling. And I just, I just start swearing and cursing. The girl knows nothing. Absolutely nothing. She just kind of starts backing away like, what's wrong with him? And I'm swearing, you son of a bitch. I can't believe what the fuck you pissing on me. Oh, God. <laughs> and, and it's so this I got pissed on by a tiger. And I wouldn't have known it was him except... Here's the thing about how we mistreat animals. When they were wheeling them in, the cage had three sides that were open and one side that was blank. And all the guys wheeling them in stood on the, the covered side because these animals hated the shit and were pissing on everybody. Anybody oh, here who got wow. pissed on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Know. So I gotta say, I happen to I like that story. And thankfully, it's not the kind of skeleton where I enjoy it, but I do until. Enjoy telling right. the story, right? So, right. so you had to keep that piss on your arm for how long? Oh, that's a good question. You know, I was a 13-year-old. The Right now, 
I would run away quickly and wash it. But I don't, I don't remember. I, I cursed quite some time because then I was pissed because the girl was gone. Right. <laughs> right. right. So, yeah, so that was kind of on your you own for a while. You were in New Jersey, so, like, you had to wait to come back to your cheap apartment before you could probably... Um, no, there was some place. I'm sure. I'm sure. Like I a truck sure. stop? No, no. no we were. Me. This was an arena, and we we were uh, part. So, so there was. Yeah, he, the guy also was selling food and stuff in the background. In the from the back. I hope the tigers weren't having a party on the food either. And then like, no, the tigers weren't getting food, and guess what? The tigers were smart enough to stay away from the food. Good. Yeah, the, the, I know, the, right? The, well, we part of our job was to get there at six o'clock in the morning and cook the hot dogs that we were to roll up. And jam into these um, heat warm keeper things for an 11 o'clock show. And uh, we opened a box, and this guy, I won't say his name, but the box was great. And he said he took three hot dogs out of the top of it and said, Cook them. So uh, the animals well, were smart enough uh, to stay away from that. Well, thankfully, that this happen. was 30 years ago. Ah, uh, come on, come on. You yeah. think that it doesn't happen? All right, right. I was trying to help the people out there. It happens it everywhere. Happen. Skeletons are everywhere. Money Dirty is your food, money, too. You know? Money <laughs> is money. You know, people don't want to lose money. Yeah, well, that's because they don't have, they have the ridiculous definition that's absurd. Time <laughs> is time. I choose to create with it, just as the last young lady that came on and created wonderful music and the other people that came on previous are creating. If we did it for money, we wouldn't do it this well and do it this long. And that's the issue, quite simple. Well, that's sweet. Um, I, I don't know. I wish well on all. I sure, know. sure. But, but if, you, if you have both of your life, I need money, but I can't define all my time. Of by course. Money. No, well, it... it it doesn't happen like that. You can't take it with you, they say, right? No, you, so do you have any gigs coming up? No, you know what? I, I, I um, tend to not play out, but what I will be doing quite soon is Reverend Rhythm's Rock and Art and Music Revivals. Nice. Which can re appear just about anybody, and it's going to take advantage of situations that aren't taken advantage of now. I also want to show other artists how, look, when you're going to get famous, you're going to pick a sponsor. Now, I like this charity. I like that. Find them now. See who you can get along with now. You put a sponsorship of, I happen to have a, a thing working now with Habitat for Humanity in Hudson County, New Jersey, where I'm just about, um, in fact, if my, our computers that are the beastly dragons that fly us and shoot fire and freeze also hurt us. My dragons hurt me, but I'm about to do a video for them. Get associated with these people. They'll help you network. We don't need to be rich. We just need to pay, pay right. rent and eat and be able to create new stuff. I agree. That's what I'm saying. saying. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's but not your rent is cheap. Well, you know what? My rent's not that cheap compared to um, the amount of money that somebody wants to pay me for playing guitar for 50 years or 40 years. Yeah. Or how old am yeah. I? I don't know. <laughs> about 75. You told us 75. All yeah. right. So I've been playing guitar for... Yeah. All right. So but I have, love that necklace. Well, thank you. I, I love it a lot. Uh, how long does it take you to make one of those? You know, I haven't been able to make one this nice. I, I uh, put it up on a website. I don't know how many years ago. I wanted $80 for it. Hmm. Nobody would buy it. They wouldn't even talk about it for eight hours. Then I was in the MoMA Museum, and somebody offered me $500, and I told them, no. <laughs> I always wanted to make a bolo. It's the first one wow. I made. And it happens to be Reverend Rhythm's bolo now. And here's what's great about it. I went and I, I found these stones. I picked every stone they had that was this shape, and I bought them all. Then I took what I thought was the ugliest stone, which was this one. And it's, it's like with any instrument. If you can make tone come out of it, terrible instrument, you got it made when you pick up the Ramirez guitar. Good to or, know. Good right? to know. Right. Yeah. So, That's good. And, and, and you know what else? You need to sell. Here's the thing about our business. If, you have, if I have one record to sell, that's all I can sell to the one person who likes me. If I have a pair of jewelry and I have a piece of uh, photograph and if I have a book I recommend, I can make a little bit of money on that one person. Right. And this is what my art and revivals are going to be about. All my stuff is ready to mail to people right now. If I have to, I put the stamps in the deal to get the cash. You know, we got. Yeah. It's it's about getting cash every way we can. Unfortunately, like you, you thought, and so did I. I knew it would end. The chaz wire would be great forever. I used to walk into places in New York City, hand them photos of my wiring work, and that was it. I got a job. You can't do that now. No, no, because things change. The fish stop. The the you know the commodities are what they are. Um, everything and anything you can do that uh, you know 
It was basically... Yeah, have a chocolate and no push plastic. a button, and we're going to just have a great day. Ooh! Not that wow, button! Wow! I love it. Like, I love like it. What was that? Not Shoot that, me with love, Not man. that button. Yeah. Yeah. Reverend Rhythm, come back anytime. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Very yeah, much. What a nice surprise. Thank you so much. Cause I'd be gone, so gone